suddenly you feel two pinpricks inside your neck. You turn around as fast as you can. And in the darkness you see just glowing, glaring eyes staring back at you. You attack, you struggle, you fight. But you eventually overcome what attacked you. And then you come and then you come to realise that your very future is darkened, bleakened. As the line in front of you is a vampire. So you carry on your with your dreary exploration of the dungeon. You know. Grabbing this, grabbing that. But you can feel yourself getting weaker. And weaker. Nights go past, hours go past. Forever getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Until one night. You decide to go to bed. Tired from whatever it seems to be ailmenting you. And then you wake up. You look out your window. You stare at the morning sun. But staring at the morning sun hurts. Standing in the sun hurts. And the only time when you feel healthy or safe standing in the shadows and then it dawns on you become a vampire yourself but what do you do? do you stay within society? who will no doubt be shun you? because now you are a blood sucking monster or do you find a new home? but where else could you go as a vampire? you know yes you could go moving into the caves all around Skyrim. But do you really want to go living in the, ca in the caves or abandoned dungeons? Old abandoned forts? Like an animal? Or do you still want to live like a human being but safe from the prior knives of the public? Safe from the pitch boxes? Safe from the torches of fire? And safe from the sun. Hello, we're here, and today we are back in Skyrim, and we are we'll be looking at a small little player home, uh, but a player home that has been designed for the macabre, for the darker people who have more of a what should you say bloodlust. So we are looking at a house mod called Miracard Koala. And this was created by Macabre Forever. So it does give me a little bit of a backstory in the description about the house and what it's for and stuff like that. You know, it gives you a little bit of detailing there about, you know, how it's about, the, about how Moloch Ball created vampires. Uh, you know, and all that all that kind of little wonderful stuff and um, and recently my character became a vampire so that obviously that's why I'm outside in the dark because <laughs> I don't want to burn to the sun because I don't have any suntan lotion or anything like that on me I don't have anything with the SPF factor of 50,000 you know so what can I do uh, so yeah to find this place, it's not that it's not that difficult. There will be a marker on the map already. You just have to go down and discover it. But it's already there. But all you gotta do is come down to basically if you come to Lake in an altar, or basically the lake that's near Riverwood, if you don't know the name of the lake. So if you've got River you know, you see you've got Riverwood here, and it's kind of west from Riverwood. So you can see that the lake's here. So if you come to the western side of the lake, you will see this symbol. Miragrad Quara. And this is where you find it. And here we are on the outside. We're going to keep it dark because, you know, we're going for a vampiric episode here. <laughs> uh, but no, I won't be sucking any blood or whatever like that. Uh, you can see, you can see you got the building here, you got some gravestones out already outside. So we've already got a 
Oh, he a little bit macabre. You can see we're surrounded by some gravestones. Uh, yeah, it's just a little bit up from the lake, but it's not that it won't be that difficult to find. Or you, another way to find it is if you come to Half Moon Mill, and then you'll just see that it's literally just wet, a little bit west of Half Moon Mill. So we're just going to have a look inside. So obviously, the, well, the way you seem to need to get in. So let's have a look. Press button. All right. There we go. So we open up that coffin, go down, and then you open up a coffin that as you get inside, to a two coffin layer system. So let's have a look inside. Ah. Right. So as you can see, it's you know, it's kind of dark in here, but I'm gonna I'm just want to keep it like this, just so then, you know, you have that essence of what's supposed how it's supposed to feel. So. It is definitely obviously followers can kind of follow you inside. And so your fate your safe bring followers, they can follow you inside, and here we are. It's a very big space. Oh there's a blood sun there. Okay then. It's a very bloody sun. So let's have a look. What does this place hold? I may eventually turn it brightness, but as for the moment, we're going to keep it as just as is for now. Uh, let's see. I might have something that that bring out a bit of light, some torches. So let's have it. What have we got? So we got. So just seem to be here. We got a bookshelf. Yeah, it is in the shape of a coffin. Yeah, very, very fittingly. And then here you got copper, ghost in the storm, and more blood. So a couple of books. I don't know if we can actually. I don't think you can actually grab the books themselves. But there you go. You got a bookshelf, which is a coffin. That's pretty suited. Oh, hello. Hey there, buddy. Oh, you're a vampire cattle. Hello, vampire cattle. Yes. Uh, I can't do anything to mm. you at the moment. Can I? I mean, I can pit pocket you, technically, but I can't actually do anything to you. But yeah, well, you're kind of stuck up there, so you're pretty boned, really, aren't you? And here we got another vampire cow. Now they do seem to be levitating. <laughs> and they are definitely very much alive, as you can see. Look at the excitement in her eyes. She's so excited. Uh, but I can't do anything to them. They're just there. Uh, so I can't seem to feed on, feed on them or anything like that at the moment. Uh, ingredient pile. So obviously, I'm going to guess this is where you can sort of like store, like a lot of your items. So sort of storage, alchemy lab, jewelry for enchanting. But it has to be said, that looks weird. So God only knows what's going on with that mysticism chest. Don't know what's actually in the mysticism chest. Soul gems, uh, equipment for enchanting, a caracana chance. So you got all your like your storage, but it's not like your traditional chests. They've all been like so you can store them, but you, but it's a visual representation of what they were intending for you to store in these. Which I like the idea. I think that's a pretty cool idea. So we're kind of going looking around. Uh, we've got another vampire cattle again, levitating. So I don't know, maybe they're I don't know, maybe then being kept out there by blood magic, maybe. I don't know. Possibly. Uh another vampire cattle. Uh I can't pickpocket her over that. No, she does not sound impressed. She didn't sound too impressed. Give me the give me the old huh, to me. Rude. Uh then obviously as you can see here, yeah, we definitely got some Storage here. Uh, neat plates. Ah, so it just gives you the opportunity to get the Ashborn weapons, which normally you don't get. So I don't think you get the ability to actually get in game. I don't think because uh, they're not normally classed as playable. But I think for this, they've classed them as playable, so you can get them. 
Uh, fortunately, they're not enchanted or anything, but you know, d just means you can enchant with whatever you want. Uh, battle axes. No, obviously, you can't. Okay, so you got this one where you can hang them up on these ones, and these are just for ones where it's just, uh, you know, it gives you a visual representation of what to put in there, you know, just to help you sort of like organize everything. Uh, but there is something in the maze. What's in the maze? Okay, so we got we got Quara Mace, so basically it's just basically the Mace of Moloch Bowl but unenchanted. So that means you can enchant obviously enchant it with whatever you want to, to enchant it with. And the Vampiric Mace. Does twenty five points of stamina damage, does twenty five points of magic damage, if target dies in three seconds, feels a soul gem. So I think that's I can't remember exactly what the enchantment for the Mace of Moloch Bowl is. Obviously, that I know this is definitely. I think this is a little bit different. Uh, okay, now when it comes to damage ratings and what their base damage is and stuff like that, I can't sell. I can't really say what that they are, because uh, for example, my damage output at the moment is thirty-two thousand eight hundred and thirty-eight. Now that's because I got something called the Ring of Dave. Mm. Uh, so uh, I might be able to find out what it is if I take off the Ring of Dave. Alright, so I've just taken off the ring of Dave, and you can see damage output for that at the moment is 29, and also 29 for the just standard one. Uh, so, in ways of if they're very, if they're strong or not, I'm gonna say they probably are. No, I'm not. If that's me, I'm not really leveled up in two-handed weapons, for example. But you can see some of the, you know, for example, Bolgrus Greatsword does 23. You know, Aegis Beam does 24. So I would say that they're probably a little bit more powerful than, I you know, base wise, I don't know, maybe they're up there with like ebony, like ebony weapons or something like that, maybe Daedric weapons. You know, so they're not like too weak. But at least you get a chance to enchant one of them with whatever you want to enchant with. Right. So I just need to put the Ring of Dave back on now. Alright. So that's that. So yeah, you got your weapons area, yeah. Uh, we obviously got, what well, looks like a fancy anvil, uh, data hearts, bone meal, ebony ingots, apparently. Uh, so you got all these different stories for every single individual type of ingot. And a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay. Very strange. But fair enough. But obviously that's all your spiffing stuff there. Alright. Cool, nice, nice, nice. Uh, obviously, got all your mannequins. Mannequin, mannequin. Uh, anything in here? It's kind of strange. It's not a saying that they're empty. But yet, there's actually nothing in them. Very strange. But obviously, armor storage. You got your armor storage. Oh. And then, search rings. Anything in here? Oh. So you get a bunch of new rings that you can wear. Uh, while wearing this ring, you will see hundreds, hundreds extra magicka as well as regenerating magicka faster. Fair enough. While wearing this ring, you will receive one extra health, and your claw attacks will do an additional twenty damage. Uh, so you know, it makes you a bit more stronger. I think that's more inclined to be if you're basically a vampire lord, which at the moment I'm not a vampire lord, I'm just your bog standard vampire. And then you got some other rings that, you know, have the look of the vampire rings, but gives you a chance to possibly actually enchant them yourself. Uh, accessories, which I don't have any there, and then you've got amulets, which again gives you one that's all enchanted, and a couple that you can enchant yourself. Circlets, empty at the moment. Uh, down here you got gauntlets, some more arm storage. And carry on, you still got more mannequins. Up here you got obviously where you put all your clothes, you got your throne, and you got somewhere to stay. Lovely. So, so far, it's all very suitable for all your vampiric needs. Right, what's over here? 
This is very unusual. So I'm in and now inside a ginormous blood fountain. Uh, so you're just a model, and you're also just a model. All right, fair enough. Okay. So they're obviously just there for just decorational purposes. Uh, okay. So yeah. So so far, I don't know if there's anything in the water. We're gonna have a look at that in a second because it's quite it's quite a large area, so it may take a bit of time swimming around it. But yeah, so so far, it, you know, has everything they need. Place for storage, place to put your mannequins, it's where you can sleep, you got all your smithing needs, all your alchemical needs. All this, uh, you know, your followers can find you inside, so it's all nice so far. But is there anything in the water? Uh, well, I'm going to save it first, because I can't actually directly see a ramp back up. So I don't want to get like go in the water and get myself stuck. So, if I find anything in the water, I'll show you what it is. If not... Will be will basically be re getting to the end of this video. Okay, so I found this. Except this is the sky for the for. Except this is the werewolf sky. Now, unfortunately, it's a bit hard to see. Let's see if I can do something about that. I'll Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Okay, so it is a bit hard to see at the moment. Well, I have a mannequin here. Uh, some kind of corpse thing here. Got another mannequin. And then you just swim into this. Okay, so that that's it. Uh, oh no, oh, the va and the vampire one's behind you. Hello, Mr. Vampire. Anyway. But yeah, I think that's it for under, under the water. I don't think there's actually any guys underneath here. Uh, probably a visible wall there of some kind. Uh, dog's trying to swim. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so yeah, there was that one little thing under the water. Nothing, nothing crazy. It's just to cover extra mannequins underneath there. Oddly. For some reason, not so sure why they're underneath there, but for some odd reason they were underneath there. But again, as to as to why, I'm not entirely I'm not entirely sure as to why. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. So yeah, if you're a vampire, you're looking for somewhere that's a bit more vampiric. You want you know, nice simple home, easy to find. Easy to organise all your stuff, has a very vampiric look to it, or, or a very macabre look to it. Then, yeah, why not just add this tea, add tea collection? Actually, this tea collection. And it allows you to actually get some items that you wouldn't be able to get if you didn't have this in, or at least uh, unique versions of them, or ability to be able to enchant. Uh, how a, a particular necklace looks, or a particular, how a particular weapon looks, or how a particular ring looks that you might like the looks of, but you can't normally enchant. You know, this gives you a chance to do that. You know, so yeah, why not download it? Its download size is not very big. It's about what, what 240 kilobytes. You know, it's very small. It's a very small size. So yeah, I would just say add it to your collection, even even if you're not going to use it. Just download it. Just, just so you, you can get like the Ashborn weapons, you can get those unique, those, well, I can't say unique, but those different looking rings, different looking necklaces, which then you can enchant, just in case they, you like you like how they look, but you can't normally disenchant them and then re-enchant them. Now you have the ability to do so. But yeah, that, this is Miragad Quara by Macabre Forever. And I will leave a link in the description below to this mod. If you want to download it for yourself. And so, yeah. Please remember to like and subscribe. And share this video with your friends. Uh, until later. I'll see you all later.